My name is Dr. Doug Konzioka. I'm a professor of neurosurgery at NYU Langone Medical Center. I also hold a joint appointment in the Department of Radiation Oncology. I decided to become a doctor for a number of reasons. We certainly didn't have one in our family, but I was intrigued by problem solving always. I had a father who was an engineer and mother who was a teacher, and I was I thought medicine merged together both the science and humanities at the same time, so I thought that would be a good fit for me. Neurosurgery is changing rapidly. It used to be mainly about removing things from the, the brain, the spine, the, and the nervous system. And now we're working with ways to do that in a more minimally invasive way with computer technology, imaging, uh, brain mapping, and biologics. And an important biologic has been the use of focused radiation to do things in the brain. So I direct the Center for Advanced Radiosurgery at NYU, and that means utilizing the biology of very precise energy to manipulate tissue rather than the surgeon's instruments manipulating tissue. And we do that for both benign and malignant tumors, pain problems, movement disorders, and other kinds of problems, including blood vessel malformations. And this really radically transformed neurosurgery. NYU Langone has a commitment to quality and innovative patient care, all the way from the administration on down. And the hospital is well poised with the best technology, uh, both the big equipment as well as the small equipment, and a staff that is committed to patient care as well. When I, when I arrived here in 2012, I was very impressed with the quality of the nurses, the degree of communication amongst the staff, and the commitment to safety of care. So I think that is the theme, one of the strong themes of NYU. At the same time, it's, it's a research university built on innovative care. We do things daily. We're collecting data, analyzing how well we're doing, and improving and innovating there to make outcomes even better. My treatment philosophy is to is to listen to the patient and try to meet their goals. I've been involved in the writing of many articles in our medical journals and book chapters and edited books. And I've been part of guidelines initiatives in medicine where we set the rules or standards on how things are done. Those of us who are uh, at the forefront of care are writing the next set of guidelines. So sometimes we don't follow the rules and we do innovative approaches to solve people's problems. And I think that's part of our philosophy here at NYU is to, is to sometimes break down barriers and create the next generation of what we offer for patients.